So I've got a couple of things to talk about in this video regarding masks, your turrets and stuff. Basically, here we are. So, what have I done? Since we last spoke, I've masked up and I've repaired that area down and repaired it. I've masked up here. As you can see, I have masked the area down and I've repainted this area here. So when I remove the masking, I will end up with a, a vertical panel line where the panels overlap. So I've done the same on that side. Um, it needs another coat, and as you can see, if you look here closely, this is one of the issues with using this surface here. If you look in there closely, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let's take a picture. Very pointy picture when we're looking here. You're going to be able to see there's a seam line in the back, and this is one of the problems with this surface here. Maybe why this surface on top of this is all the same. And it's quite, quite fairly heavy as this is. You can put it into it. Solvents in the into what's underneath and then it shrink. So that's one of the problems. Now, I have mentioned ammo are coming out with them six weeks to surface with fraternity. I've seen it advertised now. Um, wow. It is apparently a thin organic solvent, whatever that means. And apparently it will not shrink, but it takes 20 years to kill. So I'm not quite sure. So they talk about spraying it and using it as a filler. I know, for example, well, if I spray this to surface, I'll kill it. Now, if I put Mr. Surfacer in here, I think I need to leave it a while to make sure that it will settle down and everything. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. If it doesn't shrink, um, I'd be surprised if it doesn't shrink. We shall see. Dead hungry. That's hungry, isn't it? Dead hungry. As you all know, taking the young Emmy off, Mr. Surfacer is going to be like trying to stop an arm. Hello there and welcome to this event. First round of this event just about to kick off. Hopefully your nerves are in check. Let's rip this little ball into the fairway and uh, be on our way. Look at this one hook. So where I'm with this turret, you can see I've Okay, setting up around 250 yards or so. Setting up here now for our third shot. Okay, we can save par here with this putt. This one's on a good line. Yikes, that went right by. And hopefully we can make this for bogey. This putt's good so far. Bit of a sluggish start, starting our round uh, above par, but back down there eventually.
wind is going right to left out there. Here's our second shot on hole number two. Yeah, nice work. That is a that's a good little approach shot. Four feet to the cup. The birdie putt drops, and I'm thankful because uh, last hole with that bogey got me a little scared. And that performance brings you down to even par. Now we will tee up on the third hole. Nice swing, sounded great. Oh, well, it looks like you're a bit off on that approach. Okay, par putt coming up. So far, so good. Well done on this one. And you're at even par currently. Okay, let's see what you can do here on this par three. Well, I can't hit all the greens. Okay, second shot here on the fourth. This one's a 10 footer. Oh, it's getting there. Good work. And you know what? That just got you into the top five in the event. And that performance will keep you at even time. Wind blowing left to right on, on this hole. Yes, that's a good swing. Oh, shit, that's cool. Here's our second shot on this fifth hole. Um, so you've got a 
One under par, if you can sink this. Oh, rolled right by. This one's just a three footer. Okay, we're moving. We're moving to the next. And you're cooking now. That put you into the top five on the leaderboard. And we are on the sixth hole now. Oh, you didn't, you didn't hit that super clean. Oh, where's this one going? This is out of the second cut here. And through some oh, branchy yeah. stuff here. Okay, we're back in the fairway. That's good stuff. Now let's hit the green. And this one's around 205 yards away. I'm in the middle of getting splashed. You'll need some more. We're on the green with that one. Well done. All right, here we go. This one for the birdie. Going towards that hole. Oh, that was supposed to be a birdie. Okay, even par at the moment. Okay, setting up on a short par four today. Looks like this tee shot's and, coming and, in for safe and, landing. And, 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 here's our second shot on the seventh. And here we go, this one for birdie. Oh, that shot was a beauty. And that also puts you into top five. And currently one under for the day. All right, we've got a part four on this one. Top 
so much fucking flesh. Smart shot. Hitting into an elevated green here. We're gonna need a little extra club, I think. One nine five, twenty four foot long. Seven, eight. It's too much. Come on, do you want some shortbread? Still the answer. Should have automatically removed Sink this and you're down to two under. Climbing up for the 13 foot putt. <laughs> Seven footer here. Looking good. And there we go. That's a bogey. And that also launches you into the top five in this event. All right, you're going to go up to even par after that one. We got a left to right breeze on this hole. Looks like a fair way off the tee here. And we're somewhere around 240 from the pin. Okay, third shot. Ooh, nice little chip on that one. All right, this putt for the break. That is fine work. And that crosses you into that coveted top five area of the leaderboard. Great work. And you are one under after that one. Tenth hole coming up. Oh, this one's dropping fairway for sure. Okay, about 170 yards to the pin. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We'll get on the green maybe on the next shot. Cold. 
We've got this much left to save par on this one. Well, it's heading towards the hole. Good stroke in the hole for a par. And that launched you into the top five on the leaderboard. All right, you're going to stick right there at one under. Yes. Why are those in the top two really, really top two? Yeah, we might need a little more power. we got a headwind on this hole. Holy well, that's shit. too bad. Okay, we're, we're pretty deep into this rough. Going to need uh, a good hack at this. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll take that. And this is our third shot. All right, this is your fourth shot. Seven yards. One day he'll be coming back Here is a look at our par putt. Looking pretty good. Boom, there's your par. And that puts you into the top five in today's oh, shall we top five. It's going to well top five, you fucking wallop. Let's stay at minus one after that hole. The fucking 14 shows behind you, can here we go now on the 12th. Well. We can get a kick left, it'd be nice. I don't know in the hill. Oh, come. Well, you tried, you just didn't quite hit this green. Here's our second shot on the 12th. Oh, fuck you, cunt. Okay, here's our third shot. <sighs> Shut up! 12 feet left to the hole. And 
Could be a good one. Ooh. All right, let's uh, tap this in and move to the next. And just one stroke over par at the moment. This one's a par four hole. Come on now, that's not what you deserve. Okay, we're in the deep rough. Careful. Setting up for our third shot. Wouldn't it be nice to save car on this one? Before we start. Oh. Okay, let's grab a bogey here and be on our way. And right now you're just two strokes above power. And here we have a lovely par four ahead of us. Yeah, I'm not sure where this one's uh, going. We'll get it back. Okay, and as we set this one up, it's, it's deep into this rough. Just wanted you to know. That shot got a little bushy. A little wayward on that approach. And setting up in the green side rough. Okay, this one's 20 feet. Okay, bogey putt coming up. And currently sitting at three over par. Here comes hole number 15. Shut up. You don't need a running commentary Mommy, all the time. Up. 
skill set to play up for the client. Click on type down here. Click on take over on ramp. That'll do nicely. Six feet to the cut. You're just twelve. Why do you have to yap? Comment. I'm just playing this game. I'm no commentator. I'm just playing the fucking game. So do a YouTube channel. Talk to folk. That's called a commentary. You have to keep talking. Just play quietly. Let us actually watch you. Yeah, And that drops for your fourth birdie of the day. And silence is golden. And you are currently two over. Have fun here on this part three. That's almost impossible, dude. We're gonna just go through how to learn to play that. So we call that. Uh, you just can't, can you? Know you good? You have got to open your fucking gub. <laughs> Approach, heading right. No fucking see. Look at that. Oh, uh, ah! that's the green on that one. And here's our second shot on the 16th. And this is your third shot. Motherfucking control, man. This is a bit chunky. We're going to set up the contract IR and everything else. And we're just going to do it. Basics. Because we're going to need it. Oh yeah, there's a way to save your part. And, which your archer has to fucking and that talk. will also move you up the leaderboard. And whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to need another look at that one. Two over par at the moment. And teeing up now on the 17th. You make good contact. Look at the aircraft on the outside. It looks like the nose is falling out. But the HUD shows it is. Okay, this is about 155 yards to the pin. So when you're landing, it's vertical mobile and rolling. Make sure the bridge is at a decent position. I recommend between negative two and three. You'll be fine. If he's put five seven. Come on, Bob, fight! Well, guess what? You ended up on the green. Good stuff. 30 feet to go. Looking super. Just a little bit aggressive there. And drop this one in for your par. Nicely done. And you know what? That just got you into the top five in the event. Okay, you are at two over par.
best of luck here on the final hole of this one. We got some good contact on that one. This is what our third shot's looking like. All right, drop this one in, this one for Birdie. This one's tracking. And with that, putt, your round is over. And it's going to be one over par for you at the end of the day. And with that, I say goodbye. And hopefully we'll see you again real soon. And then obviously the North Woods. Zero directly behind the aircraft, all the way forward to 100 and something. The normal operation for landing is about 83 to 80, 82 to 84 degrees, depending on the wind. And yeah, between 82 and 80, 84 degrees. But they can go all the way forward to 98 degrees. That's just so fucking annoying, man. So that means they are blowing slightly backwards, uh, so they're pushing the aircraft slightly backwards. So you can use it as a break but not much. Why it says 120, they don't go to us. Oh, Jesus. The nozzles, which is what you do with the Harrier or take off. You do not rotate the aircraft like you normally do. Oh, my God. You don't pull the stick back and flare the aircraft.